Hi there, my name is Lija. I'm a lawyer and a content creator with over 250,000 subscribers across multiple platforms. And I'm really excited to introduce you to Delusion Media, my brand new one-stop shop for empowering content creators. Why Delusion Media? Well, what's the opposite of delusion? being realistic. Don't ever let anyone tell you that your dreams need to be more realistic. Be delusional, shoot for the stars. I guarantee you great things will happen. Here at Delusion Media, I will never tell you that your dreams aren't realistic. That's not the goal. The goal is to believe that you can do anything. And with that mindset, we can get really far. I'll tell you a little bit more about what Delusion Media is going to be offering, but let's just take a step back and talk about who the heck am I? to be telling you all this. I'm a lawyer, like I said, I graduated law school at the very beginning of the pandemic. I live in Minneapolis. I was studying for the bar, summer 2020, middle of a pandemic. Minneapolis was literally on fire because of riots. I had job uncertainty because this fancy corporate law job that I had landed was telling me various things about when my start date might get pushed back to. I was feeling trapped. I was living in my mother's basement because I didn't know how long this pandemic thing was gonna go on for and I didn't want to sign a lease anywhere just in case. In the midst of all of this, this little twinge in the back of my head that I had been thinking about for a long time, start a YouTube channel. It was there and it was getting louder and louder as it felt like the world was falling apart around me and I had absolutely no power or voice in the situation. So after I took the bar that summer, I decided to start my YouTube channel where I would talk about the law and current events and try to make the law more accessible to people who don't have a legal education. Through that experience, I found you YouTube to be an amazing outlet for my creativity, but also an amazing place to have a voice, to feel like I'm making some sort of change in the world, no matter how small, and to feel like all of the thoughts swirling around in my head that I had about the world and about the law, I had an outlet for it that people would actually watch and listen to. And then I started my legal career at this big fancy law firm and I never really felt like I fit in. It felt like I was living two lives, like I was going to work, virtually, pretending to be a law robot. And then nights and weekends, I was making these videos where I actually got to show up authentically as myself, something that I really had not been able to say about any past job or really the law school experience or my past legal internships or the beginning of my law school career. I felt inauthentic in every other aspect of my life except for this YouTube channel. And because of that, because of how inauthentic I showed up in my day to day, because of how awful and stressful corporate law can be. After about a year, I got to the point where I was so burnt out that I could not function. I was having panic attacks every week. I lost my period. I gained a bunch of weight. All my hormones got out of whack. Like it was literally physically harming me to stay at that job. Luckily, serendipitously, around the time that I was at my breaking point, one of my YouTube videos took off and I went from having a thousand subscribers to 20,000 subscribers in about two weeks. After that brand started reaching out to me asking to do some brand deals and I had no idea what I was doing, how much I should charge, what the contracts should say. My first brand deal, I drafted the contract because they didn't have a contract for me to sign and I knew that that was a bad idea because I did intellectual property law and I wanted to be able to protect myself. So luckily I had the lawyer background where I could draft my own contract for them to sign, but I was shooting in the dark, you know? I had no idea what I was doing especially around how much I should charge or any of it really. And I just made it up as I went along and I continued to do so and I got better and better at it. And I was able to negotiate for what I was worth. I always asked for higher than what I actually thought they would pay me because I knew about the income gap between men and women in the content creation space and I would not be a statistic. But otherwise, I had no idea what I was doing. And frankly, all the videos that I was finding on YouTube about like how to price yourself for brand deals or how to deal with brands were vague and not very helpful. And so again, I went back to square one and just made it up as I went. And it worked. And because of this growth, I was able to quit my job, start healing my body, which I'm still doing to this day because of how much damage was done. And I was able to go full-time on YouTube, which gave me the space to recover from that burnout. 
I was able to recover to the point where I decided to go back to law part time and now I represent women against their abusers in restraining order cases. And I'm able to continue to grow my YouTube and follow what I'm passionate about, empowering and teaching people. And I wanna bring that to my work on YouTube and make the content creator space more transparent as well. Because like I said, I was shooting in the dark and as far as I can tell, that's what everyone else is doing. And the only people that benefit from the lack of transparency in the content creation business are the brands who aren't interested in paying their creators well. And the white cishet men who are willing to ask for big sums of money. So because of that, I am launching Delusion Media, a one-stop shop for influencers and content creators. My goal is to empower content creators, especially from historically excluded and marginalized groups to ask for what you're worth. Learn to negotiate like a lawyer and teach you to build the business of your dreams through your content creation. So what does that look like in practice? What is Delusion Media going to give you? Well, we've got the YouTube channel. We'll also have an Instagram and a TikTok, all at delusionmedia.co. And then there will also be free resources on the website, delusionmedia.co. And I have also written a couple eBooks that will be available to you. For content creators who are getting their first brand deals, but you're not sure about the contract provisions and you don't just wanna sign away without some sort of feedback, I will also offer my time as a lawyer and content creator with one-on-one contract consulting sessions where we'll go over line by line any upcoming brand deal contract that you have to make sure you know exactly what you're signing up for. Whether it's your first deal or your 100th, you deserve to know what your rights are. This and then I've also got a few other tricks up my sleeve. It's all dropping February 1st, so be sure you sign up in the link below to be the first to find out.